and I'm giving you both microphones. Thank you both so much for being here today. I think I'll start with a question that both of you can can relate to. It's uh, why you chose to do these projects. And of course, very different projects. And I one of the things I loved about the series is that there's such a variety of stories. Each other Israel is different. Um, but let me hear from you why you each chose to do these projects. Vanessa. Thank you. Well, firstly, thank you for having me here. It's been a pleasure. Uh, this story started, the kernel of it was an article that I read in Israel when I was visiting on holiday. Um, my family lives in Israel, and I was visiting. And I read an article about the head of the immigration authority in Israel. It's called Oz. And he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder after having um, led it for about a year or two. And I found the article very interesting. And it sort of opened up my eyes to the fact that there are so many foreigners in Israel. I wasn't really aware of it at the time, and I'd been living in the States for about five years and only going on vacations. So not really looking around, just sort of inundated with my family and, you know, how it is when you go back home. Uh, so wasn't really aware of the changes that were taking place. And that article really opened up my eyes. And, and the next time I left my house and looked around, I just saw so many different cultures and, and, and heard so many different languages. And I really started becoming aware of, of the changes that were taking place. For, for those of you who Sorry. have not been to Israel, and it's hard to interrupt, um, in the last, I'd say, five years especially, who here has been to Israel ever? I'm going to see most of the hands. Who here has not been to Israel in five years? Um, you will be shocked of what's going on in, especially Tel Aviv, but um, in, in Tel Aviv, hundreds of thousands of uh, of people from all over the world, um, different cultures. It is a very different place than you might remember. Sorry. No, sorry for taking so long. Um, so the the inspiration was the article, and I realized there were um, you know just lots of different cultures. And actually, this my mo my mother's housekeeper uh, was was cleaning at the house one day, and they were very close. She'd been with us for a couple of years, and they were friends, as these two women are in the film. There isn't really this gap, this distance, and uh, she got a call that her, her flat that she shared with several others was raided yet again. Uh, I think it was like the second time that month, and my mother told her, you can't go back there, you should stay here. There's Vanessa's room, and stay until, you know, you figure out what you want to do. And uh, so then I realized, okay, I have to tell this story, because I was interested in the article, but I knew that I would have to transform the story somehow to make it make the lead characters female. I'm just more interested in, in writing for women. Um, and I uh, and so then that happened and I was like, all right, well I'll just I'll use that and uh, that was really yeah, that, that's how it all came about. Yeah. We'll get we'll hear more about it. Muhammad, you have uh, you're you're a very well established actor and you did these two roles which are um, student films basically or short films, um, why did you choose, what attracted you about each of these films? I didn't choose, I mean, um, two young people came to me and said if I would like to participate in these films. I like young people because I believe they are the future and then I wanted to help both of them, especially the, the last one Wild Horses, because my son is uh, in the film. So it was a pleasure to work with him and to work with young people. I have no any other reason. It's good, good that you're supporting young cinema. The second film, let me ask you about Wild Horses, that, um, that film you're playing, you and your son play father and son, and they're playing, they're, they're Arabs who are speaking in Arabic. Why did you? Why was that choice made? Why didn't they have you guys speak in Hebrew? Why do you think? What was the significance of having you as Arabs in that film? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Authenticity, maybe. No, he decided to make it in uh, both languages uh, because my name is Muhammad, and my son name is Saleh, and he said why you must speak Hebrew, you can speak your language. And then we speak our language and with the, our partners, I mean the two girls, we speak Hebrew. 
So uh, I don't know why. Oh, I think I think it shows a little bit of a natural inter. The there are two languages and two nationalities that exist and can coexist very naturally in in that world. And it seems it seems not like a crazy world at all. It seems like something very. I natural. think it's not question of languages and nationalities. It's question of a kind of complicated relationship between father and son, mother and daughter. Uh, I think so. And you could be from anywhere in the world. Going, going back to you, hold on a second, sir, if you don't mind. True. The signs in Israel are in English, Arabic, and Hebrew. Um, going back to you, Vanessa, uh, the story here, really tough story also, a mother-son story and a father-son story as we're seeing, which are of course are universal themes. This is things that go on not only, it goes on here in America um, and other countries where parents are looking for the best opportunities for their children. And this is of course heartbreaking, a mother who, who can give up her, her son. I, I, wa I, was, I was wondering, you use there the metaphor of Passover and it's told during Passover. What were you thinking with that metaphor there? Or it might not be a metaphor. It might just happen to be circumstance. It was. It was. Um, I, I found it a little ironic um, that, you know, after everything the Jews have gone through to finally get their own home, uh, that... And I'm not, and it's not that Israel is not. Israel is probably one of the most open countries in the world uh, today, I think. And uh, just seeing how many refugees we have and the asylums, uh, it's 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 you know astounding how well, open we are. I, I did find it though. I, I did read many stories about families being torn apart because of what's happening. I mean, there's there's so much going on in this film. You know, there's the the the, the generational gap between the Nigerian mother and her son. One is an insider, her son. She's still an outsider. He was born in Israel. He speaks Hebrew. The language gives him access and and, and an identity that she can't really own. Um, there is the mother-son relationship, as you said, with the Israeli woman and, you know, again, the Nigerian woman. Uh, so there's a lot going on, and the, the yeah, I, I did use it as a metaphor. You know, our exodus, their exodus, um, and, and just, you know, Passover being about teaching the future, the children, uh, what happened, and the, the story, what it is, what, you know, our struggles in, in finally getting our own home. And yes, that, that it was, there still are many stories in which the families of illegals are being torn apart. Children are staying in Israel when their parents are leaving because they can't stay. So th just the fact that, you know, after all our struggles that we weren't as sensitive perhaps or that, you know, but I understand both sides. Just as a technical question, if mm -hmm. you happen to know, children, this child now saying your story is left in Israel. Mm -hmm. Are these children allowed to stay in Israel? They don't get deported? Um, I, the ones that are born in Israel at the time when I was making the movie, they were allowed to stay, and their parents um, as well. She, Mary, in, in the film, decides to leave of her own accord, as, as you see. It's, it's pretty much her choice um, because of exactly what you said, which is she thinks she's, he's going to have a better future without her. And uh, on a more personal level, I think she feels that he would just be better off without her. She sees him. She stands outside and watches him as he interacts with the family, completely at ease, completely one of them. And she knows she will never be that. And she makes that decision to leave. It's, it's funny, the comparison between this film and the Wild Horses, Muhammad, also ends with somebody leaving the other. With in, in this case, it's in, in Vanessa's film, it's the mother leaving the father, leaving the child. In the Wild Horses, it's the son leaving the father. Where do you see Shadi going to? Freedom. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a classic. I mean, they they use the Western music there. And it's a classic theme of uh, of someone going from a shaken, broken boy to standing up, and and being able to walk um, with his head up in the air, and uh, a beautiful ending. Both of your films, moving and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you both for being here. The films. Let's uh, let's take. We do have time for a couple of questions from the audience. Thank you. Question from Muhammad. Uh, you spoke a little bit about playing with your son, I'm wondering what that brought up in terms of the relationship between the two of you as you're acting. 
You mean how was it to work with my son? He's very talented <laughs> and very beautiful and I love him and uh, it wasn't great. Was it hard for him to work with you? I, I think yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's hard always between son and father. It, it's always hard. It's not easy. It's, it, it is very uneasy to make it easy. I mean, it's really very hard to make it easy and natural because, you know, we are grabbing all our memories and childhood and all what happened the bad things that happen between father and son, and usually bad things happening between father and son, usually. With all our love, we make mistakes. So these mistakes are coming through the age and the time, and it's coming in the world. In the, I mean, when you walk, you see it. I, I believe it is, for him, it was more hard than for me. Not because uh, I am better than him, just because uh, usually we have problems with our fathers, <laughs> not the opposite. Usually the son is criticizing his father and not the opposite. Usually, I don't know if it's right. Is, is, is it right? <laughs> I don't know. So it was complicated and nice. Well, thank you both for joining us. Thank you thank very you. much. Films. Of course, Mohammed has another film here.